talked to the Philippine, uh, the interior minister who was here on the ground, and he was upset with me, I understand. That's right, yes, he came here about midnight last night, whilst we were still working, uh, and he said that uh, he was upset by a tweet that he thought you had uh, done, saying that there is no presence of government. Apparently this had been picked up by the local media and uh, was made into a, a big story. Uh, what, what is the tweet allegedly said? There's no presence of, of the government. I, I never said that, nor have I been able to send out any tweets because there's no cell service here. The show sent out a tweet based on something I said, which was, and I think you would probably agree with this, that I've seen very little large-scale Philippine military in the surrounding areas. There's Philippine military here at the airport, and there's some roadblocks in, in the town, but in terms of like a grid-by-grid -grid search, a street-by-street -street search for any survivors or even those who have died, I haven't seen any searches, have you? No, I've seen no systematic search for, for survivors. I mean, not to say that it didn't happen in different areas, but I personally have not seen that. Uh, all I've seen is, is the recovery of bodies at this point. But, but what the Interior Minister was saying is uh, what, what the government has been saying all along, that the local government, the local infrastructure was wiped out. So the first responders who would usually deal with this kind of crisis were the victims themselves. So this is really what they're, they're trying to, to hammer home to people, which is why they believe that the uh, the issue is in, in, the, in the media, that it may have been a little slow. But they're, they're very sensitive to, to people saying this is slow. But you've got to say what you see. Uh, I don't want to be criticized for something I actually said. Well,